I'm Patrick Bailey with IQless.com. Today is November 7th, 2019. And in this video, I'll be going over a new print that I put out there on Thingiverse and on Prusa. My Lord, Lord of the Rings inspired Doors of During guest Wi Fi sign that I put up. So here's the idea. But, well, first of all, let me show you where they are. Uh, I have it on, on Thingiverse, this thing 3960185. And also on Prusa, printers.org, as. Oh, I had this open a second ago. Let me go ahead again. There we go. As thing, uh, as, it's not a thing, I guess, over there. It's, but it's 9208, Lord of the Rings, Doors of During, Guest Wi-Fi. Um, so, there it is. Download it, print it. But the idea is, is, the idea is, in my house, um, I work from home. And so, and I'm a internet, internet. I'm a software dweeb, so I have all kinds of servers around. And so I thought a better idea to set up a second Wi-Fi in my house to for guests. And I'll have a, all, my own Wi-Fi for myself. That way I can post a sign for the guest Wi-Fi and put a, a passcode on there. And anyone can log into it who's a guest in my house. And I keep my own stuff private. And there's ways of locking that down and doing things like that. Uh, in fact, if you're curious about those things, on my other channel, I put a couple of videos up on how to do that. Like where I'm set up a Wi-Fi router and I'm connected to PFSense and I'm doing firewall rules and all that stuff. Uh, but that may not be for most of us. But that, you know, if you're curious about that, you can go look at that. Um, so for me, I'm setting up two Wi-Fi routers. Now, if you're not really all that concerned about your network, you might just have the one and you may want to share the password. But at any rate, I want to share the password. So what I've done is I'm a little Lord of the Rings inspired on this one. So I called my Wi-Fi the Doors of During, which if you've watched the Lord of the Rings movies or read the books... Uh, at one point in the movie, they're going into the mines of Moria and they come up across this gate, this, you know, they can't get into the mountain. And so Gandalf, the wizard, looks up and reads the inscription. Inscription, it says, you know, well, I forget the first part, but it basically says, you know, these are the gates. And it says, speak, friend, and enter. And they say, well, what's that mean? And so he says, oh, it's obvious. If you know the password, you're a friend and you just speak the password. And so he sits there for hours just trying to password after password after password, and it's not opening. And so then one of the hobbits turns to him and says, hey, what's Elvish for friend? And he responds with the word, I think it was melon, and the door's open. So it was actually a literal speak friend, you know, say friend and enter. Uh, and the idea in that time, in, in that movie, that gate really wasn't so much about keeping people out. It was just a gate. And all, everyone was allowed in. You just had to say the password. So it was really open. So I'm following that idea. I have a Wi-Fi called Doors of Dury now. And so the idea is I wanted to post something on there and also post the password, but in such a way that I 3D printed, 3D printed it all out. So if I want to change the password later on, I could. And so, um, so now it's posted up there and I can point at it and say, there's the password. And there you go. In fact, here it is. I think I've got a picture here. It's near my coffee maker. So anyone who wants it, I can just point them at it. Boom, and get it done. Now, uh, the top part, which... Don't I have it here? Ah! Yeah, here it is. Thought I prepped it. Uh, this top part was done in Fusion 360. And this is not going to be a class video, uh, but if, if you're curious about that, so in Fusion 360, you can copy an image into Fusion 360, and you can kind of use it to trace it in a way. So I traced it and made this. I also put a little Wi-Fi symbol in here, and then, you know, did a press-pull for all the little features. Um, I may do a video on that, but I'm thinking about doing a different video, like a live video. So we'll see. But the important part, if you're watching this, is the password. So this, is, of course, is not my password. But what I wanted to do is everyone's going to have their own password. So if you want to use this, you're going to want to change the password. Or you may want to change it from time to time. I may change mine every year or every six months or whatever. And if I do that, I want to print a new one out and put it up. So what I've done is the password is in OpenSCAD. So I'm going to go show that real quickly and show you how to change the password to whatever what your password is and then to, you know, print it out. Okay, I'm going to do this as if you're going to Thingiverse and downloading this. So if you download this, and this is, you know, if you want to do this, you go to the Things files and you'll see there's the Doors of During Guest Wi-Fi STL. So you can just uh, download that and print it out. That's, that's you know, this piece. But there's also the there's also the passcode. You could download that if you literally wanted the same passcode. Um, um, now again, this is not my passcode, but it just says "Speak, friend, and enter." Um, but if you want to change it, download the Open SCAD. 
And for those who may not be familiar with OpenSCAD, OpenSCAD is 3D, 3D design as code. So if you download this file, you're first going to need to download, uh, let me open this shell builder. You're first going to need to go to OpenSCAD.org and download the program so you can actually open it up. Now, of course, I already have. And it's a free program available for anyone to use. But let's say you downloaded it, you open it up, and now what you're going to get is here is the code. So I'm, I think I'm going to do a video going over how to build this code as a class at some point. That's what not that's not what this video is. I just want to show you how to use it so you can make your own code. So if I run this preview, which will run it real quick, you'll see I get this speak friend and enter. And <clears throat> what happens if you want to change this? Uh, also. Mm, Another thing I should make note is I wanted to find a font that looked a little bit more Tolkien-ish, a little bit more Lord of the Rings-ish. So I downloaded one, and I'll put a link in the show notes to this. The There it is. It's a Morris Roman Black. So if you like this font, you can go here, download it, install it, and use it. In fact, if you don't have this font, so let me zoom in here right now. If you don't have this font... I'll change this right now. If I change this to a font that doesn't exist on my system, so let's say you, you bought this in, you haven't you haven't put this same font in, if you try to run this, it's going to default to a generic font. So it's not going to look the same. So what you want to do is if you like that font, download it, run it, life is, and then and there you go. Um, yeah, let's just go over font. So in OpenSCAD, if you want to change the font to a different font, you would go up here, there's instructions right here to switch the font. Follow these instructions. But what you do is you go to help, uh, font list. And the first time you open this, it may take a while because it, it calculates all, it does all the stuff and brings all the information in. So it might take a second or maybe half a minute. But then once it's in there, you can code choose one. Like I'll choose Cooper Black. And I'll say copy to clipboard. Let's say for some reason I like that. Hit OK. And then now I can go here, paste. And basically replace what was there. So now it'll be Cooper Black. So if I do a preview, uh, oh, oh, nope, sorry, I need a semicolon. Semicolon. Now if I preview, we'll see now it's whatever Cooper Black is. So that's a way to change the font to whatever font you want. Um, also, you can change the font size, although I don't recommend changing it much. Up here is where I have the font size written. So if you want to make it, you know, 10, you could make it smaller. But at some point, if you make it too small, it's not going to print well unless you get like a smaller nozzle. So I would suggest, you know, keeping it at 16. And for this video, I'll, I'll put back uh, the Morris Roman, because I like that. But anyway, whatever, whatever you're using, once you do that, let's say you change the password. Now, OpenSCAD is not a smart enough program where I can actually do thought metrics and have it resize itself accordingly. So I have to kind of do it by hand. But let's say, rather than speak for an ender, you used uh, the Elvish word, you know, melon. And you said melon, uh, you know, 3355 five or something. And that's what you wanted your code to be. So if I rerun this, you'll see it works. But now this, is, this might be too big. Uh, I mean, you can still run this. Or, well, let's do it both ways. Let's make one too small. Let's say we want, this is too small. We want to make it smaller. The nice thing is you go up here and just change the width. So now it's at 170. Maybe I'll make it 140 and try it again. Eh, close enough. Maybe 130. Yeah, let's, let's call that good enough. And so from there, once you're good to go, you hit the render button and then save the STL. But now let me do it the other way. Let me make something really long. Melon, melon, do, 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 do a bunch of stuff, right? And so now it doesn't fit. Same thing, we'll just make it bigger. 220, run it. Still not big enough. 240, run it. Okay, that fits. And then we'll run, uh, the render, which will take a little bit longer. See, it takes a little bit longer to try to do all the font stuff correctly. Uh, so let that run. And then when it's done, we'll save it as an STL. Okay, there we go. So now, hit the STL button. And I'll just save it to my desktop here real quick. And then I gotta slice it. Now for both of these, I set them up so it would be at the same level. So if I open my slicer here, let me go back and delete this. And I will drag in what we just made, the doors of the door code. And it looks like it barely fits on my printer. Okay. Uh, so now that I have that, I uh, hit slice now. 
and then I let me uh, kill that. Okay, so what we have here, because I have the white and the black, so I need to put a uh, color change in here. So I'll go down a couple, one, two. Now see, this is the last level where it will be white. So what I want to do is I don't want to do anything here. I want to go up one, hit this plus button. And so you can see here, this is all going to be white. This will be my first black one and the second one. So I actually do two layers of black because I do it at 0.2 millimeters. I do two layers of black and you can see it shows up pretty good. And then just hit slice now. There's your G code, export it, print it out. And then, you know, you, well, you can change whatever color you want. White and black seems to work pretty good. But, you know, do the white, do the first color, then change it out, do the second color. Um, so with that, you know, and then also what I did with these is I got some of these, you know, Velcro stickies on, on the wall, the ones you can remove, I stuck it on the wall so that I can remove it, which is probably a good idea in the long run because you might want to change your password every so often, you know. Okay, so with that, let's go over the details. Okay, I always like to go over the details. So for my print, uh, which is this guy, and of course, like I just showed with the layering, we gotta do the layering on this one too, so we can get the two different colors. So this guy takes two hours and 10 minutes to print. It takes 0 0.018 cents of electricity, and it weighs 0 0.044 kilograms, so $20 per kilogram for a kilo for a roll. It comes out to 88 cents with the material. So total cost to print this is about 89 cents. And then for this guy, at this size, now your size may change based on what password you put in there. Uh, it took 51 minutes to print. It took 0 0.008 cents of electricity, and it weighs 0 0.016 kilograms. So at $20 per kilogram, that comes out to 32 cents. So total cost for this is 33 cents. So total cost for both these is $1.22. And so now I'm set. So now I'm just going to put these back up. Of course, I'll print out what my real password is um, and put those up. And then anybody who comes to my house... I can just point them to there and say, that's the Wi-Fi password and easy peasy. So um, I'll probably be doing a more of a class video. I'm thinking about doing, uh, so that's it for this video. But in the near term, I think I'm going to do a class video as a live stream. And I think I'm going to try to do a Harry Potter thing. But the same idea where we're going to print out and make a Wi-Fi thing with a password um, where we'd have, you know, some, a password to share. So anyway, there we go. Hey, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.